The Presidential Distinguished Educator Award recipient, Dr. Twyla Bartell, is with me right now. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. That was a big surprise. <laughs> That's wonderful. So you can talk about, I know, the challenges and the opportunities in mm -hmm. nuclear medicine right now. Sure. So I was kind of doing the general nuclear medicine's highlights this year. So in that category, I think SPET CT is one of our largest opportunities. It's been around for several years, but not everybody is utilizing it. And if the patient's already in the clinic and you've already had other prior imaging and you have a questionable area, it's always very helpful to go ahead and do SPECT CT while the patient is in the department. And that helps as a diagnostic tool and it helps with patient management. It also probably saves costs because they don't have to go follow up with other imaging and come back later. So it probably saves time too. So I think that's a great opportunity. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, you can use several different radiopharmaceuticals, um, but one of the downfalls is not everybody has a SPECT CT camera. So I hope that this grows in the future and is added on at many institutions. Uh, another downside of that is reimbursement. So there are still some reimbursement issues we have to work through, and that would probably gain a lot of atten everyone's attention if it could be reimbursed better and utilize it for patient care. So I think that's one big thing that's very important. And you have a, a unique opportunity to see some of the highlights here at right. the meeting. Can right. you talk about some of those? Sure. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of overseeing the summary of the general nuclear medicine highlights. So. I would say what it's kind of like we have so many radiopharmaceuticals in this area. So it's like one, it can involve any organ in the body, any disease entity. So there, it's like a hodgepodge of scientific abstracts that have been submitted. But I would say the top categories, it was very interesting, were in infection and inflammation. There are a lot in musculoskeletal also. And so I think that's an area that is growing also, especially with PET-CT. Um, some of the top, I'd say the high volume abstracts were surprisingly regarding rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis. And there are also another radiopharmaceutical that comes to the top of my mind is the FAPI um, uh, radiopharmaceutical for pediatric patients. And they mentioned that a lot with the rheumatoid arthritis. So I think these are going to be great um, diagnostic tool using this. And, you know, all the abstracts were great. I don't want to pick, you know, someone's over the other. They were all great. And we'll just summarize that all at the meeting coming up Tuesday. When you talk about these opportunities, you know, really from head to toe, whether uh -huh. it be neurology, cardiology, cancer mm -hmm. care, and arthritis, and some other really painful conditions. Right. What are you most excited about to be part of this field? What am I most excited about? Well, nowadays, it's you know the opportunity to not only look at imaging, the diagnostic part, but it's also the therapy part. So you can see the patient at the beginning, you know, their disease process, the volume, you know, and then it's just really exciting to be able to also treat them and follow them up. And you know, not all cases are going to you know have great results, but the majority will. And it's just exciting that we can be part of that and we can you know be in charge of seeing the imaging and the therapy and the results. Marrying the science with that really personal care I think right. is astounding. Right, right. And that's one reason I like nuclear medicine in general. I think we have a great personal touch and camaraderie around all of us and I just love that part of it also. <laughs> I think we have good contact communication with the patients. Yeah. Well thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on your award. Okay, thank you. It was a big surprise. <laughs>